Hello everybody, this is Vinton, aka BitB, and welcome out to another BitB stream. Of course I'm late. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to this- hold up. Still trying to get used to this brand new way that I'm starting this up. It was like, uh, the way that I used to start up this intro, like, I, I used to have to go into, like, sub boxes, and then head over and, like, click certain buttons in order to make the BitB stream logo comes up, but I've- I've whittled it down to just, you know, clicking things on, like, the main interface and it works. Oddly enough, simplifying things have confused my brain. But whatever, we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright. There we go. Now, if you remember the last episode, um, we managed to get the guy... I'm trying to remember what his name was. Damn it. Oh, well. We'll figure it out when we get in there. No, we managed to get him not guilty. But unfortunately, now he has been painted into a crime that is much worse. Murder. I was wondering when the murder was finally going to show up in this case. Like, I was just like, well, this is weird. Uh, for some odd, unknown godly reason, we're doing a, just a stealing crime? That makes no sense, especially for Phoenix Wright. No, no, everything has lined up, and everything makes sense in the world now. So let us just go ahead and begin this. Oh, I should also mention, uh, before we begin here, I want I want to make a special point here that uh, I'm still having these internet troubles that I have been having over the last, like two weeks or so i've we finally ironed out the probable reason why they're happening and unfortunately it's something that is kind of out of my hands and i can't fix it has to do with just old wiring that's inside the wall and just all that stuff so um on occasion you're probably going to see some weird hiccups happen heck i just um i'm looking at the output of the internet right now and it looks like some very strange hiccup just happened i don't know if that affected the quality or anything but i don't know that the issue is that when major problems happen, they tend to happen in clusters. So, I and also I I want to mention if these outages happen, I'm going to try to not pay too much attention to them. I'm just going to keep on going for the sake of the recorded stream, so that it's not heavily cut up and confused. You know, it's like and me just complaining about the fact that the internet cut out. Like that's not fun to watch. So, if it happens, I do apologize, but there's really not much I can do until the guy comes out and runs a new line to the house and uh, drills holes, all that kind of thing. Hopefully, we won't have to worry about stuff like that today. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, let, let us actually begin. Right, time to... <laughs> Yeah, our, our client has basically uh, gone from the frying pan and he's directly into the incinerator. <laughs> October 13th, 3.02 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. You know, I'm glad we found the urn and all, but poor Mr. Delight got arrested again. Well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose! I don't buy it! But by the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there was Mr. Nick himself. At least, from what I can understand. Yeah. Yeah, per she's getting pretty good at the legalese, I'll say. She's, she she's starting to get her head around it. A very smart, tiny girl. Looks like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Shut up. Um, uh, well, how about we get started looking into the KB security murder? I think I'm gonna head back to Korean Village for a little while, if that's alright. Right. She, I mean, she probably shouldn't even be a part of these legalities in the first place. She's kind of just been roped into this nonsense. It, sure, but why? I'm going to bring the cigarette urn back and have some people take a look at it. Yeah, all right. Now, I noticed this before. That urn does not say, um... It, it, it says Amy now. It, it said uh, I am when it broke, right? So this is not the right urn. So why why is this here? I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll go with. No, Mystic Maya, you should stay here. I want you two to spend some special quality time together. Full of love and happiness. Pearls is so caught up in her fantasy, she forgot there's a murder solve. Hey, what, what better way to bond than with murder? Now remember, no fighting, okay? Goodbye, you little bastard. She's gone. Okay, Nick, time to get going on this murder investigation. Boy. All right, let's talk first. What to do? So, what do we do now? Isn't it obvious? We should get out there and investigate the murder. Well, first, we need to find out exactly where KB Security is located. Hey, 
Why don't we ask Miss Delight? She should know. Besides, I want to ask her some stuff about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You're not thinking of getting one, are you? <laughs> I'm not the same little Maya who used to be happy with her dinky little bike, Nicky boy. Uh... Speaking of asking around, I've got a few questions of my own for Mr. Delight. Okay, well, let's make sure to go to the detention center to... to, to, to. Alright. The sacred urn. More about the fact that it's actually spelled right now. You must be relieved we got the sacred urn back, huh? You bet! But there's something a little different about it. Don't mer at me! It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. It clearly says, I am, on the urn in the poster. But the urn we got back says, aim me, like it always used to. Oh, yeah, you're right. Plus, the vase has pink splotches on it now. I'm sure they weren't there before. Maya doesn't know, but one year ago, when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Amy's name into I am. Ha! <laughs> and that repairer was one mechanically unskilled little pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. Is it possible that urn is a fake? I'm sure Pearls will find out about that once she gets back to Kirain Village. Yeah, I suppose. Now that I think about it, Maya hasn't been back to Kirain Village in a long time. Hey, more stuff. So, I guess people still go to Kirain Village to do their training, right? Yep! If you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo severe training. So, why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Well... Lately, I've been thinking of heading to a channeling dojo to do just that. A channeling dojo, huh? Sounds pretty serious, whatever that is. If you're gonna train, you have to be serious. Otherwise, real tragedies can happen. I think we know about that, yeah? Is what happened last year still bothering you? Probably. That murderer in her village. It happened because the power of channeling was misused. When a medium uses the curing technique, she temporarily loses her own will. So when an especially strong spirit is summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. What's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. Yeah, but we have proven that that was not the case for that situation. Like, we proved, that, we proved that in that situation it was some asshole who was dressing up in the garbs. It had nothing to do with the channeling. I don't... They didn't even channel one person in that room that day. That murder... It wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. Sounds like being the master of Karain is going to be a heavily, a heavy responsibility. Probably. Okay, okay, enough chitter-chat. I guess we need to go do things. Unless there's something I want to present. I I don't know. I don't know what I would be presenting to you specifically. Meh, no. Let's just move. Eh, alright. Masks hideout. Okay, who do we want to talk to first? My guess is that if... if now, the last time that we did this, um, we managed to get... We managed to get to Mr... Hoobity who? I, God damn it! Sorry, it's like putting gigantic weeks in between doing all of these things. It muddles up the facts ridiculously. Um, I think I need to talk to his wife first because his wife tends to have things that will actually get him to talk. So let's try that first. <coughs> Excuse me. October thirteenth, mask to masks hideout. Well, quote mask to mask. Jesus. I, and the funny thing is, is that I cannot come up with a goddamn voice for her. I don't know. I was sort of doing, like, um, a little bit, like, lot of light sort of thing. Oh, Nicky boy, Maya. Miss Delight. All I wanted to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. T don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating herself up. Hey, Nicky boy, please. Please help Ronnie. He's not a killer, I swear! My Ronnie wouldn't hurt a fly! Ah, alright, I'll poke around and see what I can find out. 
R really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew asking for your help was the right thing to do. I, uh, I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I had no idea Miss Delight had such a vulnerable side. <laughs> All right, well, um, let's have some chats then. See if you know anything about Mr. Ron. Listen carefully, Nicky boy. My Ronnie would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not in him. I don't think he would... I don't think he would either, Nick. Yeah, but you have to admit he's got a bit of a temper to him. It's not that hard to imagine him just snapping and screaming, Please die! He would never say that! Anyway, Mr. Light, he might not be a killer, but he's still going around saying that he's a thief. I already told you, that's just a fantasy for him. Miss Delight, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. What? How dare you say that to me, Nicky boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have any secrets between us. Ronnie isn't the thieving type. He's so honest that he wouldn't even sneak a nap. He, he's so honest that he wouldn't even steal a glance. A thief? Ha! <laughs> At the very idea... I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I just can't understand how they can be so different and yet be such a happy couple. Well, as they say in uh, what the hell that one song was, um, uh, what was it? DJ something cat? Or, I don't know. Opposites attract that song. Yeah, they sure are different. Was it like DJ Cool Cat or whatever the fuck? I don't know. Come on now, Nicky boy. It's not that mysterious, is it? It was love at first sight. For me, anyways. What? For you? Uh, for you? I'll get back to that. Detective, at me. I hate these kinds of people more than anything. Um, you mean ace detectives? No, I'm fine with ace detectives. Oh, so then you must mean thieves? No, they're all right, too. I just hate thieves and pre that pretend to be ace detectives. That's very specific. Although I hate them, too. There's nothing I hate more than a cowardly man. By the way, why did you go to detectives at me's office anyway? Well, as the trial went on, I started to get more and more anxious. I went there to try to find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? Yes, obviously, the real mask to mask is not my Ronnie, right? It, yeah. And Detective Atme knew more about mask to mask than anyone else. They mentioned him on the Great People Around Town segment on TV. So then you went there to ask him some questions? That's right. I'll do whatever it takes to save my man. His secretary said, the ace detective isn't in right now. But I forced my way past her and into the, his hideout. I wouldn't exactly call that office of his a hideout. Why is it that whenever we hear, like, this tune specifically, this musical tune, it tends to follow some very, very crazy, ridiculously over-the-top lady who basically just does crimes? You know, it's like, this is, like, Lada's theme. Apparently this is, you know, Desire A's. It's like, Jesus. That bag was sitting there on top of the table, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we saw that bag there yesterday, too. Yeah. There's nothing lower than someone who could try to pin a crime on someone else. All right, let's have a chat with, uh, you know, about the KB security. Mr. Light, do you know about KB security? Don't be silly. Of course I do. That's where my Ronnie works. So she thinks he still works there, huh? And yet, according to what we heard today... Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. Ron quit. He doesn't work there anymore. It looks like Miss Delight doesn't know. KB Security is only about 20 minutes away by motorcycle, that is. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. Well, I have to admit I tend to fly pretty fast on my bike. To make it to KB Security that fast? Are you sure you aren't literally flying? <laughs> Why don't I give you a ride? Why don't I give you some ride sometime? Or better yet, how about now? Nope! 
I, I, no, no, I'll pass, thanks. But, but why don't you just go tell us where it is and we'll go ourselves? <laughs> what a scary cat you are, Nick. Miss Delight told us the location of KB Security. Okay, let's over there right away, Nick. Nito, uh, what was that love at first sight thing you were talking about? Um, so, was it really love at first sight when you first met Mr. Delight? Well, maybe not at first sight, but Ronnie saved my life. Saved your life? I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just curl into a little ball in a corner, so I fought back. B robbers? Yes, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying these huge knives, and I broke down into tears. You're very happy when you say that shit. Yeah, I would too, if I were in that situation. Oh, I think I get it. Did Mr. Delight come running to save you? Yes, exactly. I remember he looked so handsome in that gar uniform of his. He went right up to those two knife-wielding robbers and screamed in their faces. Please, stop it, he screamed. I could see the robbers' faces turn pale. That high-pitched... Wait, uh, that high-pitched shriek of his does have a surprisingly strong effect on people. Please stop it, dog! Then, crying and swinging his arms like crazy, he attacked the two robbers. All by himself. He came to save me. A total stranger. All by himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow. That's a great story. Yes, he may not look it, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. That's so romantic. I'd fall in love too, I guess. Nick, I help you do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. Well, we've already been in the hostage situation. So, I busted down doors. I have run around like <laughs> run around like uh chicken with his head cut off. And then I stick the police on people, but it eh, it's the same thing really. With Maya, that possibility always seems to loom in the not so distant future. Gulp. That's interesting. Uh, do I have anything to present to you? I don't imagine I do. Maybe... Well, have I presented this to you? Ah, oh, I know what that is. That's one of those key cards from Ronnie's company. But come to think of it, it's been a long time since I've seen one. That's probably because Ron doesn't work there anymore. Oh boy. What's the publicity photo? Oh, right, the mask to mask thing. Derpity herb. And then that stuff... His wallet? Why the hell not? That's Ronnie's wallet. It was found at KB Security on the night of the murder. Ronnie and I went out to dinner early that evening. I'm sure he had his wallet with him then. So it's true then. He must have dropped it at the crime scene. Oh boy. That ain't good. Alright, let's um move on. Okay, we head to the CEO's office. But before we do that, let's see if Mr. Ron is here. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll talk to Ace Detective. I would love to do that. <laughs> I already told you, it's not me! A sad, pitiful whine that tapers into silence. Oh, <laughs> it's not me! Yeah, that's it. Sounds like they're interrogating Mr. Delight right now. Man, we don't have enough time as it is. Yeah, well, I guess the police are going crazy just like we are. Yesterday they thought he was just a thief, but now they got a murder case on their hands. Yeah, I guess you're right. The guard's over there. The guard over there looks a bit on edge too. Really, he looks exactly the same as he does every single day. Come on, we'll just have to come back later. Okay, let's go check out some other place, Nick. Very well. Uh, all right. Well, let's um head to the hideout again. I suppose there isn't anything to do in any of the other locations, right? Probably not. Okay, CEO's office. Get ourselves some clues. Oh, yeah, isn't that the... Oh, wait, well... I don't know. Is that the vault? Is that the vault that we saw at the beginning? It... Uh, oh, no, the old vault at the beginning was blue. This one's yellow. October 13th, KB Security, CEO's office. 
So I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look thick, just like you'd expect in a CEO's office. What has he got to do? What's that have got, got to do with anything? Yeah. And what the heck is the walls anyways? Is that like... Oh, God. This is going to be one of those cases where the room is very specifically designed so that there's, like, no way in, no way out. See the panic button on the background? Like, there... Yeah, this is like an impenetrable uh, structure, and I imagine I'm going to be the person that has to figure out how somebody managed to get in there. Great. Hey, it's you guys. Hi, how you doing? Oh, it's Detective Gumshoe. Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal. The prosecutor made us real fools. Uh, real made real fools out of us. My God, English. Yeah, I feel for you. Oh, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like, Oh, that was great! You guys got what you deserve, pal! Ho, ho, ho! Or something to that effect. Do I really sound like that to you, pal? <laughs> if the gumshoe fits. Um, but, well, anyway... The point is, I, I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. And I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes I feel like wrong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. Now if this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating. Well, do you, did you find any fun little clues around here? What happened? Detective Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the murder! Oh, um, okay. But the thing is, I'm not really supposed to... Hey, come on! What about how we put our hearts into our work? Things are really working against us right now, and we need help! Look, okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. The victim's name? Wow, that is the C That is definitely a CEO face right there. The victim's name is Kane Bullard. He was the CEO of KB Security and a pretty big fella in his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 o'clock this morning. His estimated time of death was 1 o'clock in the morning on October 12th. Cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Probably an object in this room. It happened at exactly the same time that Mask the Mask was stealing the urn, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Now, okay. Alright, here's an interesting theory that I have. Do you remember the paint that was on the wall and on the floor that... I, that I swear to God was covered up by that statue. I'm willing to bet that that's... I'm willing to bet that the urn that was actually stolen... Actually, yeah, yeah, the, the actual uh, Kirain urn, that was stolen a long-ass time ago. That's what I'm thinking. And simultaneously, somebody could have come in here and tried to do the murdering. I have no idea why those things would fit together, but again, that... The, the pieces just sort of fit together in just such a way. Though, that one cardboard, the, the one box that was sitting at the scene, uh, that was covered in paint. So... I suppose that box must have had the fake Kurain urn in it. The real Kurain urn was stolen much uh, earlier than that, is what I'm guessing. And I don't know. I don't know. Theories will eventually either iron out or they'll either become real or they'll become complete fantasy works. I don't know. But I do like to theorize with this stuff because I like looking back on this footage being like, oh god, I was wrong. Or, oh, I was actually on point there. But anyway. So why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Bullet's body was stashed away inside the safe. Safe. Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, out he came. Out, so the body fell out. That white string must be the shape from when he fell out. Funny enough, like, I have taken some uh, forensics classes in my day, and let me tell you something, actual crime scenes don't do that shit. Like, the, the least amount of uh, damage you can do to the crime scene, the better. And why the hell somebody would draw a shark outline to try and uh, you know line up where a body was like that i don't know if they did that back in the day or whether or not it i don't even know where that came up in uh, pop culture but nowadays 
that does not happen in any shape or form. Like, uh, completely not. Because if you did that, then you're tampering with uh, evidence on the scene, and that's absolutely not fair. Anyway. <laughs> Enough asides. I think we still need some more information about Mr. Billiard. Maybe you could start by getting the man's name right. <laughs> okay. Detective Atney. So, um, what happened to Mask to Mask? He's at the detention center, screaming like a madman. <laughs> Investigate me again! He keeps yelling. I, no, no, I, I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyway, right? Oh, you mean that detective at me? <laughs> oh, that was great! That guy got what he deserved! <laughs> Now that the detect, uh, now that's the detective I know and love. Think about it. Atme was always around when a calling card showed up, but he always mysteriously disappeared when the heist took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was the thief. That would explain how he would be able to retrieve the stolen item he keeps bragging about. Yeah. He just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. But there's this one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the Tear of Ebonon case. There was a witness on that one. A witness? Yeah, I saved the newspaper clipping. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. What does it say? Okay. Interesting picture. Hey, this guard here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? Um, have I? Oh my god! <laughs> it's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it... That... Wow, that's Ron, isn't it? Sweet. More about this Godot guy? Oh, that prosecutor! I really don't like that guy! The way he used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight... Yeah, I think he did it that way just because he knew it hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyway. So, who is that Java-addicted masked maniac anyway? Professor Godot? He's quite the enigma, huh? The thing is, pal, I never even heard of the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. And that's right, he said this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true, according to the records anyway. But... No way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in court. A maverick that gives me goosebumps. Goosebumps? You? Yeah. I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe. I had no idea you were so unpopular. <laughs> uh, no! Th that's not what I meant. Uh, my self-esteem. That Godot guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. I have uh, my own theory about who he is, but... We'll see. We'll, we'll see if that actually pans out. It'd be amazing if it is what I think it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and examine the scene and see what we can find here. Ooh, what is that thing? Wow, look at that huge framed photo! Tall mountains rising majestically against a dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. Is it? This was his best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough or he had really rotten luck with the weather. Maybe if he had lived a little longer, he would have seen some better days? Eh, maybe. There appears to be a panic button. Now why that wasn't pressed, I don't know. Oh, there's a button here. Let's see. Don't press random buttons! You son of a p- oh, come on. Hey, cut it out! Don't press that! <laughs> that was pretty funny. I never knew Detective Gumshoe could jump like that. What is that button anyway? Ugh. It's an emergency button. It says it right there on the panel. Nope, you're right. It's written right there. Nick, how many times have I told you to read the instructions first? This alarm's connected to the basement guard's room. It used to summon security up here. Really? Then it's possible on the night of the crime. Oh, so when the CEO was attacked, 
do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around there. But they said that the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. <sighs> I think we better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. Ah. Alright, so that's that. Hey, he's got a nice little desk. This must be the CDO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out just for a second. Don't, again. God, this is so illegal. Oh, nice. I feel just like a CEO. Hey, you. Whip me up a cup of some really expensive import tea and some scones. Move it! Ah, this is the life. Um, the victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. Yeah! <laughs> ah, thank you, Gumshoe. Uh, what the heck's happening over here with this stuff? These look like some some, <coughs> some kind of bookshelf slash rolling cabinet hybrid. I can't get in between these two shelves. Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at a time, huh? It looks like they're filled with bunches of files. Yeah, files with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. It'd be a good night's reading, if you've got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little more exciting. Like UFOs or something. Meh. Alright, there's that. Uh, there's one book that's sort of awkwardly sitting out here doing nothing. She got this big, thick binder here. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick! Reading a file isn't exactly back-breaking work. Just a little hard on the eyes. Uh, what did you find out, Nick? This file. It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about mask to mask. It's filled with info on him. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Hey, Nick. Look at the last page. It's a list. Well, let's see. Tear of Eminon. $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Mask Damask stole. So then, $100,000 is the value of the stolen item? I don't know. The number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. Interesting. Kane's list. So, was Mask Damask a, uh, some weird tiny subsidiary of K and B? K and B something? All right, let's, um, I've skirted around it long enough. Let's actually look at this. This rope. You think it fell out of the safe when it was open? I don't think so. So, you mean, yeah, I think this string shows where and how the corpse was lying. Y you mean, the victim? He was killed by being crushed by the safe door. Uh, she can't be serious, can she? Alright, let's actually look at the safe. Yeah, well, think about it. A dead guy was laying in here all night. Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't bother asking about fingerprints. There were none. Well, somebody opened this safe on the night of the crime, right? Yeah, and so? Well, if Mr. Bullard's body was hidden in there, it must mean that it was opened by either the killer or the victim, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. Alright. So, is there anybody out there that would know the combination of the safe aside from the CEO? That's what I want to know. Because if it turns out that he was the only one that knew, then that would mean that he was probably opening it for whoever it was who was the murderer. And then promptly got clunked in the head. Maybe. I don't know, I'm just making up theories on top of my head. It's... <laughs> I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? Um... Okay, shoot. Open it this baby is no piece of cake. There are only a few people who know how to open this safe, pal. Yeah. And? Everyone that knows how to open this safe had airtight alibis. I checked. Everyone except one, that is. I'm almost afraid to ask. 
Former security chief, Ron Delight. What? Ron Delight? He was a security chief? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious. That was kind of his... Whatever. Ron, so he knew how to open the safe, huh? Yeah. Sorry for raining on your parade there, pal. Yeah, well, it's everything inside the room. Uh, do you have anything more to talk about now that I've done all that? No. Uh, what about presenting some stuff? Do you have anything fun happening? I suppose I could present literally everything I've just shown you. Um, so about this... Huh? What's that? Hey! Wait a minute, Maya! What's wrong? My Phoenix right senses are tingling. We don't want him to know about that info. <laughs> we copied that data without permission. Don't show it to him. Uh, he might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Er, uh, uh, it's nothing. It's just my billfold. That's a pretty thick billfold, <laughs> billfold you got there. Now I really want you to... Want you to show it to me. Meh. Um... What about the buzzer? Detective Gumshoe, uh, about this right here. Sorry. It's hard to believe, but there's a limit to how much my brain can hold. I got two ears and two eyes, but I only got one brain. I can see your eyes and the ears, but the jury is still out of the brain thing. Hey, Nick, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. Uh -uh. <laughs> if you don't have anything nice to say, do not say it at all. Screw it, let's, uh, let's just see what you want. Nope. Now, Gumshoe tends to be a person that uh, just coughs up information whenever you show things to him, so... This is proof that Ron Delight was here at the crime scene when the murder happened. His wallet and this keycard, huh? I think we need to ask Mr. Delight some more about these two things. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, more about the newspaper clickman. This was his first heist. And I guess I underestimated him. I was sure I was going to get him, so I was careless and lost the info on the witness. By witness, do you mean the guard in this photo? Yeah. He and the detective worked together to try catching Mask the Mask. But he got away, huh? That guard. I got the weird feeling that I've seen him around lately. Mm-hmm. I think I know. I assume this probably says the exact same thing. Yep. Alright, so... More about the autopsy? Nope. Ah, nothing. Just checking. Making sure that I'm covering my, uh, my bases on things. Well, uh... See if you say anything about this. About this blackmail letter? Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it too, pal. Why would Kane Bullet have been blackmailing Ron Delight anyway? Again, uh, my guess is that this does tie somewhere back to... <sighs> Alright, my, my assumption. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. My guess is that he was the guard that night and knows all about Mask to Mask and got obsessed with him and his crimes and his criminals, you know, the, the criminal stuff, and knows a lot about Mask to Mask, looked a lot into Mask to Mask, Probably knew a lot about Mask to Mask due to the CEO. And then Ron was called into this office uh, about Mask to Mask that night. But that would kind of tie him back into the whole murder thing, so that would not work. Well, Mr. Delight used to work at KB Security, right? But what was it that made him quit? Nick, that's it! Maybe that's the same reason he's being blackmailed. Well, I'm in the middle of investigating that right now. No. Oh, all right. Yeah, yep. Nah. God, I don't really want to... Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I don't remember what I've shown to you and what I haven't. I think I just kind of want to move to the detention center and try to ask some questions. Oh, the security room. I haven't been in there. Maybe we can have a chat with whoever's on security in here. KB Security, Security Guard Office. Wow! This is really something else. For a Security Guard Office, it sure doesn't feel very secure. <laughs> eh, I mean, sort of, I don't know. It looks spacey as all hell, I'll say. KB Security Guard. Uh-oh, I just remembered. Larry might be... Hey, Nick, what's up? 
Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Uh, so he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Get the hell off her. Hi, Larry. Here, yeah, well, I was working my fingers to the bone. And in walks an angel. I've got no problems with a date-time date. It's all good. No, that's not what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? You're so hopeless. Hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. R really? What is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya. Oh, God damn it. Will you stop perving on people? But Nick has a different story. But Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then and this is now. Shush up. Talking times. Good info. Yeah. So, what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a god. A pro. I can't just give away information for free. He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more... Oh, I don't know. Honest! Can you talk to Maya? Larry, tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kitten has got some claws. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes, so tell me. Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. You follow me? Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well... One year ago, Ron Delight was fired. And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have so uh, done something bad to have gotten fired like that. Like maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something? Uh, no, that's just you. <laughs> yeah, again, I get the feeling... Uh, security guard probably shouldn't have seen what he saw on the first night of the, uh, of the thieving. And subsequently got fired. And then got a massive obsession for, uh, over this asshole. So, what is it like to be a part-time security guard? <laughs> Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by, I get by alright, I guess. First, I have to keep my eye on those monitors all the time. Monitors? There are security cameras set in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? The security teams for the company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either, so if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. Good. Let's talk about the night of the crime, huh? You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? Why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb. Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you are still in charge of security here. Now hey, give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me! That's not fair, Nick! Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. Anyway, the point is, you were here that night, right? Oh, good! <laughs> Bullshit. Okay, what are you trying to hide? Oh, no, I knew something smelled bad. And it was the butts, after all. Well, it's like I always say, that was then, and... This is now, okay? It looks like I'm gonna have to break his psych locks after all. So I need to prove that he was here. Eh. Uh, how would I break him? I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll take a look at what the first question is and see if I can find some evidence to, uh, to follow up with it. Although, first off, hold on. Man, we're doing... <laughs> We've covered a lot of grounds. Let's go ahead and just save. Meep. Hello, friend. This thing. Hello, Miss Jobots. The night of the crime. 
On the night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? What? Of course I was! Why wouldn't I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Uh, but, but that was the... That was then. This is this. Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night too? Never. I I didn't sneak out. I, I tell you what. I I'll even bet you a dollar. A dollar. Wow. Now that's confidence. What's with that drenched? Uh, what's with that drenched in the rain puppy look on your face? Do you have evidence that I left my position, or are you just pulling my chain? The evidence that Larry was not manning his station when the murder happened. Uh, do I have anything in particular? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, mm, no. Well, no, the, the button the button was not pressed that night. Yeah, it was it was proven, because... Connected to the basement security guard office, there are no fingerprints on it. So it didn't go off that night. There's no proof that he would have uh, done that. All right, well, what about... um? Honestly, no, there's really no proof that says that he did, so... I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. So, yeah. Uh, let's actually examine the room. <laughs> examine the security office. That makes sense. Why is there a random coat sitting here? Hey, Larry. That's your jacket, isn't it? <laughs> that's right! Um... Did you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? <laughs> yeah, sure. I was told to never, ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffled at me. Something terrible will happen if you do. Got it, Greenhorn? So, why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got me curious. If the jacket's weight pulls the lever down, that's what they call an accident. <laughs> Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen? Ah! <laughs> That's true. It's killing me too. What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for different reasons. <laughs> All right, what the heck is this thing? So That's my pot in a seat. Your partner? Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Um, there's tea spilled all over the machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. Still looks fine, more or less. They really know how to build them, I guess. Oh, boy. I'm kind of nervous about who that old crone is that works in security. Um, what's happening here? Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey, Larry, what are they? Huh? Did you say, hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. I... I always thought they were just some kind of decorations or something. Nah. Oh, boy. How did this guy ever get a job here, anyway? <laughs> Good question. Um, so I can't select this thing. Uh, there's all the security monitors. What is... Okay, there's the chocolate milk. No, I can't even, I can't even select the chocolate milk. Those screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on these two? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of work, it's Larry. Hey, Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation, if, if you know what I mean. I know what you're thinking! It was a professional investigation, alright? Right. Okay, so there's that stuff. There's a note over here. I feel like that's probably going to be important. Um, yeah, what the hell is all... All this? Wow! Take a look at these things over here! Hey, hey, Larry! What are they? Hmm? Oh, okay. All right, that was just the thing over there. All right. So what the heck is it? Why is there just blue lights on the floor? Like, why is why is this place so like spacey sci-fi bullshit? Okay. So this appears to be the last thing to check, I think. 
Wait, can I check the chair? Hold on. That's my workstation! Pretty cool, huh? I keep a steady eye on those monitors and look for... Oh, and use that mic for communicating. Look at all this equipment. It must be hard to operate. No biggie. I think there's an instruction manual somewhere in this room. Somewhere? Instruction manual? What are you going to do in an emergency? Well, I, I guess I'd start by calmly looking for the instruction manual. During that time, my partner, the old lady, would calmly look for her reading glasses. That's what us security professionals call teamwork. Even Maya and Pearls could run this place better. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, what is this? Something is written on this poster in fine print. A guard's five commandments. Wow, this sounds serious. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, one, obey thy superior. Two, respect thy superior. Three, smile at thy su superior. Four, salute thy superior. Five, buy donuts for thy superior upon command. It's signed, wow, no. <laughs> Shit. She's one tough old bird, let me tell you. Cross her, and you come face to face with her real genuine ray gun. Yeah, sounds scary, all right. Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think my voice could handle any more old bag for this series. I say that, but she's just around the corner, I'm sure. Okay, so you really don't have anything else to say. I mean, all right, how can I how can I prove that you were absolutely not at your workstation? Hmm. I'm gonna hold on a second. Let me look at the court record real quick. Uh, what, okay, what would uh, what would facilitate that? What would prove that? Um, anything that like, any of the events that were happening that night that would basically prove that he wouldn't be there. Or any statements that would have said he wouldn't have been there. Uh, Ron's wallet. Oh, yeah, I suppose I could, uh, I could present some stuff to you, couldn't I? That's right, yeah, hold on a second. Uh, let's, let's just try to present some random shit. Hey, Larry, there's something I want you to look at. Hey, Nick, I told you, I'm a pro, and you don't interrupt a pro when he's working. I don't have time to sit and chat with you, alright? Oh, is that right? Oh, <laughs> naturally, I got time for you, though, Maya. We're gonna have to squeeze this guy if we want to get more info out of him, huh? Eh, maybe. Just don't don't have Maya squeeze him in that way. Please do not. Uh, what about this thing? God damn it. All right, all right, nothing about that. Oh, uh, what do you think about this? Nope. You are so goddamn aloof. All right. Oh, what about this thingy? Nope, nothing. You don't give two shits about the newspaper article and the potential security guard in it. And you know nothing about that shit. Alright, what about Ron's wallet? No, really? I thought, if anything, I figured the wallet would actually do something. Uh, how about Kane? You know absolutely goddamn nothing about this place, do you? Come ask some brooch. <laughs> I just, I don't know why he would. Uh, blackmail letter? Nope. Nothing about that. How many more pieces of evidence are there? Uh, that's basically it. And... Brr. Camera data. Golden statue. Damask calling card. Yeah, I don't know why any of these things you would be interested in, but... And I don't even know why... Like, I'm basically trying to squeeze... I'm, try I'm trying to squeeze orange juice out of a stone. Like, I'm not... I'm not gonna get anything out of this guy, I don't think. Meh. I'm getting a whole lot of the exact same message, and I feel like I'm not gonna get anything else. Uh, the only way I'm going to be able to get anything out of him is if I break the Cyclox, and even then, I have no idea what the heck I would uh, present to him. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, uh... Fuck it. Oh, wow. Nope. That's not even different either. Okay. 
Man, da, 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 okay. Uh, ba, 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 da, what, where do I go? Because, yeah, I think I'm going to need to move over to some other places. Is there anything I didn't present to you that uh, would be useful here? Probably not. A share, a share. So, Detective Atme wasn't hit in the back of the head after all? That's right, because he was the real thief. He wanted it to look like he was knocked out. So he bet it on purpose. I'd stake my reputation on it. Grr, what kind of a creep would ruin an antique for that? Alright, what about the security camera photo? The thief in the photo taken by the security camera is missing his brooch. Yup. The thing is, there's no evidence that the photo was tampered with. It was definitely taken at 12.58 a.m. I turned the tables at the trial today with the mystery of this missing brooch. I wonder if there's something more to this missing piece of costume jewelry. Oh, you know it is. You know there is, so... Oh, okay, that's literally the same thing, because it's tied in together. Uh, what about the gold statue? Detective Gumshoe, nope. Alright, and I feel like none of the old evidence does anything, right? Oh, wait, ah, it actually does. I still got no idea why Mask the Mask would go after a broken old pot like... Mm. I I mean this tasteful old family heirloom. Good point. Why go after a worthless piece of junk like... I, I, mean, I mean worthless in a good way. I mean, it, uh, this is a first for the guy. Adrian Andrews hired at me as security before the calling card even came. I wonder if that has anything to do with how things played out. All right, let's talk about the calling card. Remember, don't tell anyone about that emblem, okay, pal? Does the thief ever send these to the police? No, always to the victims. Up until now, the victim had... have always come up... Oh, Jesus. Up until now, the victims have always come to us looking for help, though. That's not what happened this time, you mean. You got that right, pal. Listen up, if you guys ever get one of these calling cards, I want you to come to us right away. Got me? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore, since uh, if we did catch the thief, we're not going to see these calling cards ever again. Unless some asshole copycatter. Once again, copycatter, bullshit. I suppose now I need to go and get, you know, just a sc scrounge around some evidence of random crap. I wonder if, uh... Here. I wonder if the detention center is now finally... Nope. Okay. Um... Right and go. Nope. Uh, again? Okay, the only places I have not been... The Atomy Detective Agency and the Main Exhibition Hall. And I get the feeling there's probably some more stuff to do with those. October 13th, Atomy Detective Agency. Whoa, this place is literally crawling with cops. <laughs> What'd you expect? Now that they know he was actually mask to mask, this must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing this place apart. Hey, I just noticed. Gumshoe was nowhere to be seen. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably working on the murder case. But wasn't he in charge of the mask to mask investigation all the way up to yesterday? Well, the murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing like a good murder case, pal! Points for the quality of the impression, but I'm not sure Gumshoe has bloodlust by a... Alright then. I'm a nerner. I guess I can't really examine anything in here. Or at least it doesn't look any different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's move to the exhibit. Exhibition Hall, and maybe we'll have a chat with somebody here. October 13th, Lordly Taylor, Main Exhibit Hall. The Treasure of Crane exhibit is all ruined now. Maya. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This is our big chance for everyone to learn about the spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we've got the Sacred Urn back, maybe they can reopen it? 
Really? Sure, maybe we can label it the urn of Mas Masks de Desires. That would probably attract a lot more attention. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's brilliant, Nick! We can clean up and be filthy rich! Woohoo! Wow, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> no, she's, she is excitable, that one. All right, let's head back down to the uh, the basement warehouse and see if there's anything happening there. Come here. Somebody mowing their lawn outside. Hope that's not being picked up by the uh, by the thing. October thirteenth, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. No, <laughs> oh, it's you, Mister Wright. Miss Andrews, what's she still hanging around down here for? Um. So, how's it going? What about the secret urn? The urn. Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Uh, do you mean it's been found? Yes! It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You guys really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Master Mask's wife that found it. Well, anyways, I, I'm so relieved. Let's have a chat about stuff, huh? Damascus identity. I just heard all about it on the news. So, that detective was actually the thief all along. Yeah, it looks that way right now. It, it's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Damask to guard the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick. If she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, when was it that you hired Detective at me again? About 20 days ago. And when it was... Uh, wait, uh... And when was it that Mask the Masks... Oh, son of a bitch. I'm getting everyone's... Wow. Every once in a while, there's like, big old clusters of me getting very confused about who the hell's talking. It'd be nice if, like... Have you ever seen those uh, dialogue boxes where it shows a face directly next to the words? I would love to have that in this game. Because like it's very in you know in undescript by just putting in the words, and then you know there, there's no actual lip flaps of when Phoenix is talking. But yeah, there we go. Me complaining about nonsense. And when was it that Mask to Mask's calling card arrived? That was about ten days ago. So he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it then. Detective At Me must have really wanted the sacred urn after all. I guess so. Uh, the night of the crime. What? So Master Mask murdered someone as well? Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that he was here stealing the urn at the same time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the night of the thief of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective At Me? That is a very loud lawnmower. No, I couldn't have. Yep, it's getting louder. Son of bitch. After all, he was hidden there the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. He claims that's the way he always operates. That's just what he says so he can have an alibi when he commits the thefts himself. Yeah, he was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as Mask to Mask pretty well. Alright, what about the uh, Sacred Urn stuff? Is it, we, we finally need to crack down on this and figure out if there was like a prop urn or something. I'm so glad that you got your Sacred Urn back. Yes, but there's still something that bothers me about it. What is it? I'm not exactly sure, but somehow the urn that came back seems different. Really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Anders? Uh, no, I don't know anything. Why would I? Of course. God. People, talk to me straight, son of a bitch. Cyclox! What do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret of the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Frickin' damn it! All right, all right, all right, okay. I'm gonna examine the room real quick, and I'll be right back. Um, let's look at this box again. 
That pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Uh, don't touch it. There may be clues to the theft's identity, a uh, thief's identity on it. Uh, I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 da. I've, I've done that before. Okay, so. Just want to take a look at things. Um, I guess here. This is the camera and computer the detective at me set up, huh? That's what he said. And yet he still let it take a picture of him. Again, I feel like this is uh, some very crafty shit that's currently happening here. And he is intentionally trying to get himself caught. I guess he's not as smart as he pretends to be. The camera belonged to Lordly Taylor, so he knew he couldn't tamper with it. So then why would at me... I mean, why would Mask Damask allow that to happen? Right then. Uh, what about... I mean, there's the camera. I mean, is it... Oh, I don't need to... I don't need to check the sign for brr. That's it. Let's look at the, this thing again. Detective Atme said he got hit on the back of the head with this by the thief. But that was obviously a lie. Because it turned out that Atme was the real thief. It's still hard to believe. It looks like Adrian feels really bad about it. I'm going to take full responsibility and fix the sword myself. I know I don't look it, but I have complete confidence that I could fix it right up. As promised, I'll fix it so you never knew it was bent in the first place. P please be gentle with it. I don't know. She seems to... Oopsies. That was not the button I wanted to press. I wanted to press the, uh... <laughs> it's, it's literally, like, directly underneath the uh, menu button for the 3DS. Sorry. Again, this paint... It looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about that paint mark. The bottom left part of it is in the sh is shaped oddly, and it's shocking pink. <laughs> yeah. I don't see how the color of the paint is in any way important. I do! Is there really nothing else to ha like do around here? Seriously? And nothing else to do with the statue? The statue wasn't where it is now when we first came in here, right? Yeah, it was right next to the door, wasn't it? Well, if someone moved it, it was probably Mask to Mask. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mystic Amy while he stole the urn? Hey, cut it out! You ever me that creeps with that kind of talk? Alright. Uh, yeah. Nothing happened with that. Right. Let's, uh... I'm going to see what it's going to require to make you talk. Not gonna, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna pull any triggers just yet. I don't think. Maybe we'll see. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's that's um true. Maybe it isn't the same. It, it could be a. Uh, it could be a fake. A fault? A fake? You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn was uh, submitted at the trial was genuine? Uh, all right. Did you have any evidence the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine? Um, shit. I don't really know what you're trying to word there. I'm going to save real quick just to make absolutely sure I'm not being an idiot. Do you have any evidence the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine? Or, is this right? Is this word right? Because I'm trying to prove that it's not genuine, right? Um, well, I mean, the treasure exhibit poster would be kind of proof that it's not the same one. And oh, I don't have it in evidence. So, shit! <sighs> Well, Miss Andrews, see, look, it was a fake after all. Huh? I mean, your evidence is fake too, as I expected. Oops, I guess this isn't going to help me much. So, have I convinced you, or do you have any evidence that the urn that was submitted as the, uh, at the trial was genuine? Well, I don't know. Again, I'm trying to prove that it's not genuine. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So, what the hell's the deal with that? Take that. 
That's the answer. Okay. Yeah, no. Fuck. And we're reloading because, yeah, seriously, I'm not going to get beaten over the head because I couldn't figure that out. The evidence that Larry was not manning his station when the murder happened is, yes, and we figured that out. Ron's wallet. This wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Bullshit. Liar! You hand-delivered this wallet to Miss Delight just yesterday. Y give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. What time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 o'clock in the morning on the first floor of our company building. Oh, that's where you're going with that. Okay, I understand. 1 o'clock in the morning? That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard's office! G -g -g yeah, but, 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 uh, th th there's something about, something you didn't think about, you was that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murder might, or the murder might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murder had snuck in before 10 o'clock p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Why do we have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 o'clock p.m. during your shift. And that has to do with the office key card, correct? Yep. Larry, when you use this key card, does it leave a record? It, yeah, it, it does. But I can't show you the record to just uh, to show the record anyway. You just do. That key card data was already made public in the trial today. Wh what? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. <laughs> anyway, according to the data, the CEO, wait, uh, the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore. It was most definitely used at 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way! Yes. Someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Oh! Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. Yar! No! Dang it! You got me good. Let's see, Jesus, I just noticed my disc is. Uh, I'm using a hell of a lot of my disc for some very odd reason. Give me a quick second. Let me take a quick look at this. What the heck, are you doing? Is that? I really hope that's not like my antivirus software being like, "Oh, scanning my computer now, scanning now, checking shit, using up resources, bastards." All right. Enough about that. Yeah, let's talk about the night of the crime. Stop, let's stop being distracted by things. No, oh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault! Larry, there was nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What happened that night anyway? Uh, my Donna happened. Huh? Your Donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my daughter called and said, I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and she was standing right there next to her. He was standing right there. Next to her. Son of a bitch. Uh, who was? A new boyfriend. It was like some horrible joke. Before I knew what was going on, the guy sucked me right in the kisser. Normally, I'm the one that does the punching. Isn't that right, Maya? Yeah, uh, I've never seen him punch before. So, is that why you left the security guard office? Well, I'm sorry! It, 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 it's all my fault! How could I ever make it up for you, Nick? What can I do? What? <laughs> He's curled up on the floor crying like a baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Nick! 
Is there anything I can do? Anything? Just name it! I'll do whatever I have to do to make it up for you. I swear I will! Larry. Hey, Nick. As long as he's offering, why don't you show him the evidence we've got? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. <laughs> Nick! Hello, evidence! Alright, so let's actually, um, let's start asking some questions about random shit. I'll go from left to right, because I think the stuff on the right's a little more important. So what do you think about this? This is one of Kurain's greatest treasures. I used to have zero interest in all that old, junky stuff. But now that I'm a new person, well, I can kind of see the appeal. Hey, I got it. Why don't we all go visit one of those musty old temples next time? I think I could actually learn to like this new Larry. <laughs> Yeah, but he still hasn't told us anything useful. What about this camera data? You know anything about that? Um, I think you know how much I want to help you guys, but I really don't know what you say about that. What to say about that? What is it, Nick? It's just that he seems so... I don't know... pleasant. Alright. Uh, the treasure? Okay. I used to have zero interest in that stuff. Bl blubbity blubbity blue. Uh, do you know anything about the calling card? Um, listen carefully, okay, Nick? I know you don't, uh, think much of me as a person, but I'm no thief, and I would never wear a goofy getup like that. Um, nobody ever accused you of being a thief. It's too much work for me, making plans, writing calling cards, etc., etc. I'd rather just put a dine and dash at a burger joint. <laughs> burgers? I love burgers, too! Really? Well, how about it? Want to go on a burger date tonight? I forbid it. Please pay for the food, because I'm not defending you again. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you know anything about the security camera photos? No. Okay, it's the same exact same thing. Skippity, skippity, skip, skip, skip. Alright, uh, shishishido thingy. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, nope. One of Kurain's greatest treasures. There's a whole list of them in here. Okay, so what about Damask's brooch? I think you know what you're gonna. I want to help. I want to help. Rough, rough. Okay. Um. Let's see if you know a thing or two about this blackmail letter. Um. So what about this? Huh? Maya, you shouldn't have a love letter for me. No. Uh, no, sorry. This is a blackmail letter. <laughs> what? How do you know about that, Maya? Huh? How much is Alexis demanding this time? Uh, who is this Alexis? Didn't we show him this letter yesterday, too? I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Do you know anything about Kane? Alright, no. What about Ron's wallet? Nah, that's the wallet I found. You found it when you snuck out of work to get socked in the kisser, right? I didn't sneak out of work to get socked in the kisser. If only I'd been more responsible at work. I might have spotted the murderer on the monitor like I was supposed to. Larry, you really do feel bad, don't you? Yeah, well, maybe it's all for the best. I think it's brought Desi and I closer together. Just like they say, every cloud has a silver liner. <laughs> you gotta see that old water glass half full, am I right? Now he's starting to sound like the Larry I know. <laughs> Don't forget, Nick. Half full. Alright. Um, do you know a thing or two about these key cards, huh? So, what was the card that was used by the culprit? Uh, wait, so, was this the card that was used by the culprit that night? Well, going off the serial number, then, yeah. This card was used to open the CEO's office door at 1 o'clock in the morning. Your client had this card, right? And it's a no-brainer. He's the killer, man. <laughs> right. Uh, what do you think about this glorious man? Oh, okay. Anything to do with a thief. He's just like, uh, and I'm no thief. I am no thief. Uh, what do you think about the buzzer? Um, 
the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right! Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya! <laughs> Go ahead, Maya! Press the buzzer in your heart! I promise I'll come running to your rescue like the professional god I am! Wow! That was pretty good! Hey, <laughs> Thanks! I, I try. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please, please tell us. Oh, okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Okay, so I guess now I could probably get that information. Ooh, hey, I think uh, one or both of the connections just... Uh, yep, yep, there goes the connection again. Boy, streaming for the next, like, couple of weeks is going to be fun. Do you know anything about Kane's list? Nope, you know nothing. Okay. Well then... I guess I need to talk to you now. Right, the emergency buzzer. Let us see what this does. Um, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You're a security guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to um, adopt a wait-and-see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. Um, let's go back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must have been a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did! And I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look for me, lady, please? Oh, okay, I just can't say no, no, no to you, Maya. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry could... What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! Huh? But how? It can't be. It's impossible! Okay, enough already. What about the records? That night, it went off just once in the morning at around 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? That's when the murder happened! Really? Are you serious? That's terrible! It can't be! Alright, so now we have uh, a confirmed buzzer press. Alright, we figured that out. Um... Shit, so... Can we talk about that buzzer a little bit more now? The buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're, you don't get any more information about that. All right, so we now officially know that the buzzer was pressed. Interesting. So maybe we could go to uh, Gumshoe and actually talk with him about that. Oops. Nope, not talk. Here. Let us move over to the CEO's office. Gumshoe! You've got something interesting to talk about. Detective Gumshoe, about this right here. Oh, God damn it! Seriously? No, I, I could have sword. That was probably... All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so the buzzer did go off at one. Good for me. I figured that shit out. Whoopity shingle. Um. Well, now what? I just... I have no idea what the heck I'm... All right. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm back. And I think it's something as stupid as me missing one tiny prompt. Maybe. Maybe. I don't recall. I don't remember. But, yeah, if this is the case, then, um... It's entirely my fault, I would say. Here, let me... I'm gonna move this over a bit. No, I don't want to minimize that window. Okay. Um... I think I can slingshot from there. Let's move over back to Gumshoe. I think what we need to do has to do with Gumshoe. I do not recall if I did this or not. Um, but somewhere in the tutorial it says it's very important that you present Kane Bullard 
Uh, let's see. Detective Gumshoe, tell us more about Mr. Shane Bluebard. That's Kane Bullet, not Shane Bluebard, pal. Oh, yeah. The victim in this case just doesn't make uh, much of an impression on me. Well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. Now's our chance to get more info about the victim. So hurry up and ask. And then... You go over to talk. And there we are! Now we can get some information about the victim. That is what we needed. And apparently, according to this, once you get the info on the victim, then you can go to the detention center, and then you can talk to Ron. Horseshit! God, seriously. Like, that, it is so obnoxious that, like, you would need to ju jump through those very specific hoops in order to be able to get to where you need to go. Like, I don't... Oh, God, I don't I, I don't even feel that bad about looking that one up because I didn't really, you know, I wasn't spoiled of anything. I just found out that the answer to that was bullshit and required a whole lot of very specific things. But whatever, let us uh, learn a little bit more about the victim. Can you tell us some more about Mr. Bullard? He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have uh, had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing that kind of work. Oh, and? And? I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too. I just love money. I can't ever get enough. Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. Uh, she's gotten to it several different ways, including gigantic, be you know, gigantic um, uh, ballrooms filled with food. That was one thing. Anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Oh, so that's my problem. I need to be shiftier. <laughs> no, let me go already. Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Ooh, that's pretty dirty, <laughs> dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, KB Security used to head security operations against Mask the Mask. What? Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullard who sent Ron the blackmail letter, huh? Yep, yeah, I have a feeling this is all one big conspiracy. And this one guy who is a thief is, like, somewhere in the background of KB. But anyway... Now let's go ahead and move over to the detention center, which is, I think, connected to Damascus' hideout. Bull honky! <laughs> oh, God. October 13th, detention center, visitor's room. <laughs> Mr. Wright! M Mr. Delight, uh, did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but... Please don't leave me alone anymore! Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Uh, well, well uh, you see... Uh, on the same night the sacred urn was stolen from Lordly Taylor Department Store... Departments, whatever. A blackmail letter you got summoned... Uh, wait, a son of a bitch. I think I'm just really pissed off. <laughs> so, like, I... Oh, uh, my enthusiasm for reading all this stuff has dropped off severely after that bullshit. A blackmail letter, you got summoned. Oh, okay, all right. For a second, I... A blackmail letter you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then, that's where the CEO, Kane Bullard... Kane Bullard was murdered. Come on, focus, focus. But... There's only one Ron Delight, am I right? So the only question is, where were you that night? This time, I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Uh, uh, okay. Right then. Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are Mask to Mask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? 
That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. <laughs> but listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? <laughs> Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown! Ah, I, I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB Security at the time. So then, the person dressed up as Mask to Mask in this photo. It's gotta be Detective at me. Hmm. The night of the crime. So that night, you didn't go to Lordly Taylor. You went to KB Security, right? Yes, I, I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the key card to unlock the door. Th th that's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's room, someone was in there. Someone? Shit. And then suddenly, they bashed me over the head! Bam! Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I'd die myself. Anyway, I, I thought I should do something with the body. So that... Oh god! You did that! So that's why you put it in the safe? Yes, that's right! I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Well, I, I got out of there for starters! I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Nick, all of a sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like the murderer to me. Please don't say that. Why were you fired? Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago, you were forced to quit KB Security? I, 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 how, how did you... I'm begging you! Please don't tell, Desi! Please! Don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. Whoa! Oh, thank goodness. No, I, I, um... But I suppose I'll, I'll have to t tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. So. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal. A thief. She'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. Knowing that, why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. Except being a thief. At least, that's what I thought anyway. So he became Mask to Mask for Desiree, huh? Damn. Alright. Um, I've got some stuff that I would like to present to you, good sir. Uh, who pushed the buzzer, what I want to know? The buzzer went off just once around the time the, uh, that Bullard was killed. Oh! That's scary! Do you know anything about that, Mr. Delight? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't. Why am I not surprised by how clueless he is anymore? Neither am I. Uh, do you know anything about Kane's list? This list. We found it in the office of the CEO, Mr. Bullard. Hey! This is a list of all the things Mask to Mask stole! And that's the value of each item listed next to them. A hundred thousand dollars! Oh wait, a hundred thousand dollars! Fifteen uh, you know, hundred... One hundred fifty thousand dollars! Two hundred fifty thousand dollars! Are you sure that's the value of the stolen items? 
Uh, the numbers seem a little low to me. Even on the black market, the prices should have... Uh, it should be at least three times higher than that. I guess he knows about that stuff because he used to be a security guard. Alright. How about the publicity photo, huh? Oh, I didn't know Master Mask had become so famous. I... Yeah, I actually bought this publicity photo. It really? Well, I'd be happy to sign it for you if you like. I'll even add a b behind bars. <laughs> yes, please, please! It looks like Ron has totally forgotten about what happened at the trial today. That he was declared not guilty of being mask to mask. Uh, more about the buzzer thing? Uh, that That's the uh, emergency buzzer from the CEO's office. Uh, don't press it. It makes a terrible racket. Hehe. <laughs> Sorry. I just love making a lot of noise. I, 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 does this buzzer have something to do with the case? Well, at this point, I don't really know yet. After all, there were no prints on it or anything else for that matter. I'm going to save the newspaper clip in for a second. What are you still doing with this keycard anyway? Didn't you return it when you left your job at KB Security? Of course I returned it! Don't be silly! Um, but it, it got sent back to me uh, along with the blackmail letter. With the blackmail letter? Yes, it said to use this to enter the t CEO's office. Alright. And your wallet? I was at KB Security at uh, around 1, one o'clock that night. And I took out my wallet to open the door with the key card. So is... Okay, so is this when you dropped it? I, I'm sorry, I... I should have told you the truth earlier. Here's the autopsy report. Would you like to look at it? What do you think about this? Um, I don't really think I can help you with that. Uh, uh, no, 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 that's not it. It's just... Uh, the, the thing is, I, I don't really know if I... I could I'd say one, one way or the other. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry. You didn't miss anything. Uh, what about this brooch? Is it very accurate? Nope. Okay. Uh, more about this blackmail letter. So was this blackmail letter written by KB Security CEO Kane Bullard? I, I, I think so. P probably. You can only get into that CEO's office if you have a key card. And the blackmail letter said to meet at KB Security. Guess no one other than Mr. Bullard could have written that letter then. Well, we'll see. Eh, uh, your calling card's very nice. This calling card. Did you send this? No, no, no! I, 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 that, that is... I don't know anything about that. I, I mean, I, I had other plans for that night already. That's true. He did get that blackmail letter, after all. What about Detective Atme? Could he be the one that sent it? Looks that way. I can't think of anyone else. Yeah, that night because of the letter, I had no choice but to go to KB Security. Uh, hey, look at this pretty thing. Wow, this is cool. I'm really into this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's one of our most valuable treasures. If I ever get out of here, me and Desi will go to Lordly Taylor to check out the whole treasure of Curane exhibit. Um, okay, I guess. Just promise me you won't steal anything, okay? No, no, don't worry. We'd be going when I'm not on the job as Mask to Mask. I think you should probably put that shit away. Well, that's reassuring. Um, well, here's another picture. Oh, that's kind of strange. But what is? Up until now, Mask to Mask has gone after famous works of art or treasures. Why did he suddenly decide to steal this plain-looking urn that nobody would want? You make it sound like you had nothing to do with the theft. That theft. Well, well it, it wasn't me that chose to steal this urn. How about this photo? This photo. This has got to be the real Mask to Mask. I'm sure it is. A, I know Mask to Mask when I see it. it. Yes, but this isn't you, right, Delight? Well, I, no, I, I was at KB Security then... So then, I guess it really is Detective at me after all. Um, interesting. I don't, I have no goddamn idea. <laughs> I'm a little bit lost on this whole thing. What do you think about this? I gotta have no idea. Okay. 
Uh, what about this neato statue? Okay, all right, no. I'm really, I'm really into this kind of stuff. All right, I saved that one thing for last because I think this is going to be interesting. Hey, this is an article about my debut heist. Oh boy, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, that they were hot on my trail. But mask to mask, he must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. Yeah, that's right. I, I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I had my mask to mask costume in a nearby a plastic bucket. And then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? Wow, awesome! They hold the phone! The card in this photo? Is this you, Mr. Delight? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Nice trick, if I do say so myself. Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls could see through the, that in a heartbeat. Now we know. But as you might have expected, Detective Atme found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. Detective Atme found the mask to mask disguise? Hmm, that's interesting. I guess it, I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's when Atme got his hands on this. And thanks to that, I, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time-consuming, huh? Yeah, yes, it took quite a bit to complete. And anyway, a, a few days after that, I, I received the first of the blackmail letters. The first of them! Blackmail! You already know about the blackmail letters. You got them starting when? T tell me more now. I, 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 calm down. Don't don't get so worked up. I... Yeah, let's have a chat about that. Eh? More about these blackmails. This blackmail letter. Is this the first one you got? No, no, of course not. Uh, but this this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, it did just a few days after the tear of Eminon heist. That first letter that said, I know you did it. So, someone found out about your true identity. Just like that? It's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up, it went on to say. So, so in the end, I, I had to give up the treasure. I, I went through all that trouble to steal. Is that right? Hey, hang on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box, uh, the letter specified, someone sent me $10,000. No one said anything about me being worried, you know? After that, I started getting their plans in the mail plans? Oh, boy. Conspiracy. <laughs> oh, God. So this has been a, a combination between you and at me, apparently. What are these plans you're talking about? There were instructions on how to steal a crown or a painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security, blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. So you mean that the one who planned your heist wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. It sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. So Ron Delight was mask to mask after all. But someone else is behind the thefts. Someone who planned them all out in detail. All I had to do was d deposit the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. And then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the sacred urn because of one of those plans too? Well, see, the truth is I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I told I was told to steal. Mr. Delight, is everything you've just told me the truth? D yes, but please d don't tell Desi, okay? Ron's testimony. Uh huh. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. 
Yes, but please, don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bullard, do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Yes, of course! I could never. I'm not lying! All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid they'd discover what I did, so I, I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Oh, Mystic Maya! Hey, Pearly! I'm back! Hey, Pearls. So, what have you been up to this whole time? The sacred urn, Mr. Nick. I took it back to Korean Village to have it examined. And? And? What'd you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They say it's the real urn. Really? Whew. That's a relief. I was really worried. But... There's one small problem. Problem? Um, these cute little pink splotches? They said that it's paint, and that they were put on the urn recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We gotta find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yes, Mr. Dick. We gotta find out how they got there. Okay, okay. We'll go find out how they got there. But, but please don't forget about me. Okay, finally we've got the sacred urn. Oh, okay. So I guess now, now I can head back over there. Sheesh, finally. It, is, oh, it has opened up like a beautiful flower, this one. October 13th, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. Oh, Pearls, nice to see you. Hello there. I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having this urn examined. Uh, oh, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn, we can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. Yep, yep. Here. Real quick, though, we've been doing good. I'm saving. And then after that... From save point. Right, let's go ahead and just examine things again. This box. There's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box that the sacred ear was in. It looks like there's some pink paint on it, too. And it's definitely the same color as the stuff on the urn. I think I know how the paint got on it now. All right, let's investigate again, Nick. Yeah, okay, finally, pieces of the puzzle. Again, they've been taunting me, and I finally understand. It looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly, and it's, sh <laughs> it's shocking pink. Uh, Mr. Nick, could it be that this odd shape is... Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is it. Ah, that's the box the sacred urn was in. If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right. Look, it matches. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's all starting to become clear. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn. Right then. Uh, before we go ahead and do anything else... One thing I'm confused about is why exactly the urn is spelled correctly. Except, how is it genuine? The sense behind all that makes no sense. But... Time to try and press again. Yeah, sacred urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's that's um, 
True. Maybe it isn't the same. It, it could be... It could be a fake. A fake? You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine? Um... Yes, found at his office covered in pink splotches, but it's a genuine article! Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Karain Village and had it examined. It, is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the urn had been broken again. D did you say... Again? Yes. It was broken once a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently, too. Recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Because the last time it was broken... Ah, uh, no, that's not the, the publicity photo. The last time it was broken, it was put back together the wrong way. This poster. It was made recently, right? Poster? Ah, uh, the poster for the exhibit. At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said, I am on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says Amy. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. <laughs> ah! I am? What does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even there when this photo was... Uh, for this poster was taken. And that was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. I... Uh, wait! Four. Even if the urn was broken, it had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it. It must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. They probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like she's not going to give up the last Cyclox so easily. D do you have any proof the urn was broken here at Lordly Taylor? Yes. <laughs> well, Miss Andrews. Um, what is this supposed to mean? There's pink paint all over this urn. And there is pink paint all over the floor and walls of the basement warehouse. In other words, this urn was broken here. You can't weasel out of this one, Miss Andrews. But... Uh-oh. She's trying to make her escape. But you can get pink paint anywhere! Well, there's none in my office, that's for sure. Well, there is in my room. Liar! And anyway, the paint on the urn and the paint on the floor, there's no proof that it's the same paint. Come on, this is getting ridiculous. Proof linking the paint of the urn to the paint on the floor is birth. This box. The urn was stored in this, right? Yes, that's right. Well, there's pink paint on this box as well. I get... I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes, more or less. The paint on the floor has an odd shape imprinted in it, doesn't it? Yes. If you put this box into the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. I... Which means this box was dropped right over there! And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Mr. Wright. Done. So that makes sense now. Let's talk about the sacred urn. I'm so sorry. I was the one. The one who broke the urn. Boy, does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand, is it, Pearly? No, not at all. I I know just how she feels. It happened about two weeks ago, just after the poster photo was taken, on the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. 
Shit. <laughs> you are quite the klutz. When I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance, the box I was carrying crashed to the ground. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's when it happened. The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. I... I, I was in shock and let out a huge scream. Hmm. I can totally see how that could have happened. Yeah, as clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. Well, I knew it was the most important treasure in all of Kurain Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards were pretty big. And that's when the I am got changed to Amy. I didn't know how it was originally written, but any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Amy. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, keep your mouth shut. Don't say anything, Pearl. Any sane person? Really? Oh, Pearls. She said she wasn't very good at spelling. Anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom, and no one had seen it since then. Okay, then. But there's something I don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The Amy Faye statue? Aha! Come here. The first time that we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But Mr. Nick... There were no paint marks on the walls or floor of the warehouse when <laughs> when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime, around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. And? I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. Uh, that's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Um, but there's still one thing I find strange. What is it, Pearls? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At the time, the statue had been moved, and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Well, Miss Andrews... <laughs> what? I, I... I don't know anything about that. I placed it there to cover the paint, so why would I move it again? Well, then, who was it? Who would have done it, and why? Good question. On the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then the next day, it was moved. But why? It could come down to just the fact that, uh... Well, why would someone move a gigantic statue like that? What, what would be the reasoning behind it? I don't see it. It looks like there's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ron Delight, was at KB Security. So then why did another masked Damask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? The murder trial is starting tomorrow, but... It looks like that thief is going to be making another appearance. To be continued. Alright, now I need to start making some decisions here. Because uh, we spun... that. This has basically just been the episode of spinning our damn wheels for no discernible reason aside from one tiny dumb thing. So my first thought is that I think we should just call it for tonight. Uh, especially considering the fact that we're still having internet troubles. I would like to get those cleared up before we go into any like long haul type of stuff involved with the Phoenix Wright stuff. So I think we're going to call it for tonight and we're going to continue doing this the next time. So for everybody who actually popped out and uh, handled all of the internet problems, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it.
Uh, if you wanted to take a look at this episode anytime after it's done, and again, it's going to be in a much more concrete form and not not jittery and jutty. Uh, and I'm going to be uploading that to the YouTube and the VidMe channels shortly after we're finished here. I stream on Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays, all of them starting at around 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, some other things I'm currently doing. I'm thinking I need to get back into playing Paradigm. That's another thing. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, honestly. Because um, I really badly want to play more Legend of Zelda, but I haven't edited the last episode entirely yet. I've just been busy. I've had a whole lot of other things I've been working on, so... Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Probably something inconsequential. I'm just going to say that right off the bat here, because um, if we have the same internet issues that we've had for the last couple of streams here, I don't want to do anything serious, so that'll do it for today. Again, thanks for popping up. See you next time.